Okay, thank you. So, um, welcome to this prayer meeting. How are we all doing? Um, I just want us to start by give blessing the name of the Lord. I just want us to give glory, ascribe all glory and honor to his name. Let's begin worship him let's begin to worship the king of kings the almighty the beginning and the end the rose of sharon he's our redeemer he's our socks he's our maker let's just begin to give him praise let's thank him let's appreciate him for the gift of life for today let's bless his holy name let's worship him Today is the day 25 of our prayer. So I just want us to begin to give God all the glory. Let's thank him for day one to 25. He has been with us. He started this journey with us and we are here today. So let's worship him. Father, we are grateful. We exalt you. We bless you. We magnify you. We worship you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We bless you because you are the king of kings. You are our creator. You are the Lord of lords. You are our all in all, oh God. Thank you, oh God. We worship you. We exalt you. We thank you for day 25 of this prayer section. Father, we give you all the glory. Let's begin to worship him. Let's thank God for every area, every aspect of our husband's lives that we have prayed for. We've prayed about different area, uh, our husband's um, uh, work, spiritual life, um, his role as a husband, their roles as a father, so many things that we've prayed for. Let's begin to thank God for all those prayers that we have prayed on behalf of our husband. Let's just begin to bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. Thank you for every prayer that has points, requests that have been raised at this altar. Thank you, Father, from the day one of this program. Thank you for every decree. Thank you for every declaration. Thank you for the, what you are doing. Thank you because you said in your word that we shall decree or we shall declare a thing and it will be established, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for the work, oh God, that you are doing in the life of our husband, oh God. Thank you for the the testimonies that you have given to us, oh God. Thank you because we know, oh God, our lives will not remain the same. Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We bless you. We exalt your holy name. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless and appreciate you. Thank you, almighty. Thank you, king of glory. We give you praise, oh God. We worship you. Father, there is none like you. We thank you. We give you all all the praises. We give you all the adoration. Thank you because you are our helper, you are our defender, you are our redeemer, you are our maker, you are our all in all, you are our provider, you are the sovereign God, oh God. We ascribe all glory, all honor, all praises unto your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Welcome everyone to today's session. And today we'll be praying about um, our husband's joy. So the title of today's devotion is His Joy. His Joy. And I'll be reading from our text, which is Psalm 94, verse 19. Psalm 94, verse 19. And it says... Um, Psalm 94, verse 19. I'll be reading from the NIV version. And it says, When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought, brought me joy. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Looking at our devotion, I would like to start from the end. Um, there's a quote here that says that um, the quote where we have the wisdom for wives by Darlene Schatz that says, I hope I pronounced the name well. It says, a wise woman knows that joy and peace come from the Lord. Why a foolish one 
seeks happiness anywhere she can find it. You know, as a woman, as a wise woman, we should know that where we can only find joy, we can only find peace from God. It is only a foolish woman that will go and seek happiness from anywhere, from anything, from uh, cars, from things, from anything. But as a wise woman, as a child of God, you know that the joy, that joy and peace comes from God. So the same thing goes to our husband, that what God actually wants is that their joy, they should seek their joy, should come from him. So we see, looking at our devotion, um, according to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, joy is a fruit of the spirit, is a fruit of the spirit, and it is the gift of God. So the Bible says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. So joy is a fruit of the spirit and it is a gift from God. And what God's desire for our husband is that they should be joyful at all times. They should be joyful at all times. That is what God desires. The same thing, what God wants for every one of us is that we should be joyful at all times. And we should have the understanding that joy, this joy that we desire actually comes from him. It comes from him, does not come from any other thing, but from him. Sometimes as human, even as man, you know, a husband might want to, you know, go find joy from maybe the things that gives them joy could come from maybe what they have, what they have acquired, their achievements, their financial status, their success, their assets. Oh, their children. Oh, I have children, so I am joyful. I have a wife, so I am joyful. Oh, I belong to this powerful social, um, social circle, so I am joyful. So all these things, they sometimes, you know, gives, the people feel these are the things that gives joy and satisfaction, but these things are transient. They, they, are, they are fickle. They are things that don't last long. They are just things that give you happiness for a while and all that. So, and what God desires for our husband is that they should be joyful at all times. So all these things that they find joy and satisfaction in, the cars, the assets, the, the and everything, are things that will go away after a while because, according to this devotion, it says, because he loses his joy when they are taken away. When they are taken away, if you think you can, uh, your joy is only in what you have, in what you have achieved. When these things are no longer there, what will you hold on to? What will you hold on to? So joy is not a feeling like happiness that is dependent on circumstances. True joy comes from God. True joy comes from God. It's from within. It comes from God. It is not depending on anything. It's not depending on what you have, whether there is um, a, a car or not, whether the, there's all these things, the asset or not, true joy does not depend on what you have. It is not a feeling like happiness. It is not dependent on circumstances, it's not dependent on um, that contract that our husband won or that job that they got or how they made millions and all that. It is true joy comes from God. It is meant for everyday lives and deeper than emotions or possession. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, you show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So God does not want our husband to only have joy when everything is working well, when they have all the goodies of life. That is not what God wants. God wants us a situation, but even when things are not working well, we sh they should be joyful. That is what God wants. That is what God wants. That is what they, they because joy is a fruit of the spirit, and that is what God wants to see, the fruits that our husband should bear, that even we as wives, that is the fruit that God wants us to bear. So God wants us at all time to show, to be joyful, even in the face of trial, in the face of challenges, 
whatever the situation might be, God wants us to be joyful. James chapter um, one verse two says that, dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Consider it an opportunity for great joy. So God gives, when God has given a husband joy, a God gives a husband joy in spite of whatever it is they are going through. So they are supposed to remain joyful. When things, even when things are not going according to plan. Oh, I used to have five cars, but now I now have only one. You are supposed to say, oh God, thank you for the one that I have. Remain joyful. Joy comes from God. And it is only when our focus is on God, when our husband's focus is on God, that is the only time that they can actually be joyful. That is when they can be joyful. So we're going to be praying tonight. We're going to be praying for our husbands tonight that no matter what they are going through, that they are going to stay joyful. That's what we're going to be praying. We're going to pray along that line, whatever it is. You know, uh, for, um, in, in this our world, we feel men, we've, we've been told, or sometimes we hear that men are supposed to mask up their feelings and all that. You hear, be a man. Men don't cry. Men don't. So sometimes men are not allowed to kind of show their feeling because they've been told men don't cry. Men, uh, you are a man, be a man. You have to be strong. You have to be a man, you know? And sometimes they are going through a lot and they tend to just keep this thing in them. And like, I don't, you know, they'll just, they might not want to even share it, but they are going through in their hearts. In the, in, they are not happy. They are not joyful, but they don't want to show it because they've been told that they need to be a man. But this is not what, even when things are not going according to plan, let it be that, let our husband be able to smile. Let them be able to say, oh yes, my joy is full. No matter the situation, even if I don't have a job now, my joy is full and all that. I'm not going to take this out on any of my family. So we're just going to pray. We're going to be praying that whatever it is, that husband is going through, that God, that their faith will continue to increase. Let us begin to pray. Begin to pray that, Father, I pray that my husband's faith in you will continue to increase. My husband's faith in you will increase in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what he's facing at the moment, no matter what he's going through at the moment, no matter whatever it is, even if that... Um, contract, whatever it is, is trusting you for, is not working out at the moment. I pray, oh God, everlasting King of glory, that my husband's faith in you will not decrease. My husband's faith in you will not decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. My husband's faith, our husband's faith in you will not decrease. Lord, it will not decrease. They will continue to hold on unto you in the name of Jesus. Help our husbands, oh God, to hold on unto the truth of your word and your presence in their life. Whatever, despite whatever it is that they might be going through, help our husbands, oh God, help them, oh God, to hold on onto the truth of your word. Help them to hold on to the truth of your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Their faith in you will not decrease. They will not be weary, oh God. They will not get tired of serving you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not grow weary, oh God in their work with you because of those things that they no longer have, because of the challenges they are passing through, because of the situation, because of their present situation. Father, Lord God, everlasting King of glory, they will not doubt you, O oh God. They will not doubt you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our husband's faith, O oh God, will continue to grow in you, O oh God. They will increase their faith in you, no matter what they are passing through, no matter what they are passing through. Father, this is our cry tonight, O oh God, everlasting Lasting King of glory, oh God, your desire, what you want, oh God, is that our husband should be joyful at all times. You want our husband to be joyful. You want their focus to be on you. And when our husband's focus is on you, yes, they will remain, they will abide in you and they will remain joyful no matter whatever it is they are going through. So Father, I pray that Lord, in this their present situation, whatever it is, even if they've not, if they've shared it with us as their wives, or even if they've not shared 
shared it with anyone. Father, I pray, oh God, that I speak into their hearts right now, that Father, Lord God, their faith will not decrease. They will have peace concerning that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to declare over our husband. You are going to pray. Declare that I declare today because the Bible says in Nehemiah 8, verse 10, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So you are going to declare today over your husband. You are going to say, I call his name. I declare today over you, my husband, Peter, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength, my husband. I declare pray today, I declare that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, oh God, no matter what you are facing, no matter your presence, no matter your present challenges, whatever it is that you, you, you are trusting God for and you are yet to have it. I pray and you are worried, you are sad because of that. I pray that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I declare clear over you today, Peter, that the joy of the Lord is your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's also begin to decree and declare that our husband's hearts will be filled with joy. Our husband's hearts will be filled with joy. Let's decree that their hearts will be filled with joy. Yes, whatever they are going through, their hearts will be filled with joy. Their hearts will be filled with joy in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I decree and declare, oh God, that my husband's heart is filled with joy. His heart is filled with joy. His heart is filled with joy in the name of Jesus. His heart is filled with joy. He's overflowing. The, the, the heart of our husband, oh God, is overflowing with joy. It's overflowing with joy. It is overflowing with joy. The heart of our husband is overflowing. We pray tonight, oh God. This is our cry tonight, oh God, that you will fill their hearts with joy. And this joy, oh God, we overflow. Oh, this joy will overflow. It will overflow in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to decree that our husband will not be discouraged or moved by the worries of life. They will not be discouraged. They will not be moved by the worries of life. They will not be discouraged by that situation. They will, I don't know what that situation is. I don't know whatever it is that situation is that looks as if it is it's something that they cannot overcome. Let's begin to pray for our husband. If you know that situation, begin to speak concerning that situation, that they will not be discouraged, that they will not be moved by the worries of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree over you, my husband, that you will not be discouraged. You will not be discouraged. In the name of Jesus, you will not be discouraged. As we guard that promotion, yes, oh God, it will come at the right time. You will not be discouraged. You will not be moved. You will not be moved by the worries of, of life. You will not be moved by the worries of life. Your focus will be on God. Your hope will be in Christ. Your hope will be in Christ. In the name of Jesus, I decree, oh God, that my husband, you will not be discouraged. You will not be discouraged. You will not be moved by the worries of life. You will not be moved by what is going on around you. In the name of Jesus, even when that situation does not look palatable, you will not be discouraged. You will continue to hold on unto God you will continue to hold on unto God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray over you, my husband, that you will not be discouraged. You will not be discouraged in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray that the God of hope will fill him, will fill our husbands with all joy and peace as he believes in God. I think this is... Um, can I remember? I think it's Romans chapter 18. Let's just pray for our husband. I'll find the um, that the, the, that God, the God of hope, we fill them with all joy and peace because they believe in God. Because they believe in God, the, the God of hope, we fill them with all joy and peace peace because their belief is in him, is in the God almighty let's begin to pray father i pray oh god for my husband that in the mighty name of jesus everlasting king of glory that you oh god you are the god of hope you will fill him with joy you will fill him with joy you will fill him with joy in the mighty name of jesus you will fill him with joy yes oh god fill him with joy in the name of jesus 
fill him with joy, joy and peace because he believes in you. Fill him with joy so that he may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that he may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray, oh God, that you will fill my husband with joy and peace as he believes in you because he believes in you because he believes in you because his trust is in you because his trust is in you father you will fill him with joy and peace he will experience joy and peace in the name of jesus let's also begin to pray for our husband let's begin to decree that my husband that you will count it all joy when you fall into trials and you will share this joy of knowing jesus with all those god has placed in your path in the mighty name of jesus let's begin to decree over our husband that they will count it all joy they will count it all joy when they fall into trials then they fall into trials they will count it all joy and they will share this joy this joy of knowing jesus with everyone that god has placed in their path in the name of jesus father oh god everlasting king of glory pray 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 call your husband's name i pray for you my husband peter that you will count it all joy when you fall into trials when you fall into trial you will count it all joy and you will share this joy of knowing jesus you will share it with people around you you will share it with people around you with people that god has placed in your path in the name of jesus you will count it all joy in the name of jesus you will not relent oh god whatever it is that you are passing through you will count it all joy in the mighty name of Jesus. You will count it all joy. You will be joyful. You will be joyous in the face of trials. You in the face of trials, you will be joyful. You will be joyful in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, my husband, that you will be joyful in the face of trial. You will be, people will be wondering, ah, what is what is happening to this person? Why is it like this? When what is passing through this and he's still smiling and he's still joyful, they won't understand that because you are connected to the king of kings you are connected to the source the one that that gives you joy the joy that overflows in the mighty name of jesus everlasting king of glory we pray oh god for our husbands oh god everlasting king of glory ancient of days that our husband oh god they will be joyful in in the face of trial they will be joyful oh god they will hear joy and gladness they will hear joy and gladness they will possess joy as the fruit of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Our husbands, oh God, we possess joy as the fruit of the spirit. They will find you. And once they find you, they will also find joy. In times of trial, they will find you. They will not run helter skelter in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not run helter skelter in the name of Jesus. They will find you. And they will find you in times of trial. They will not put their focus in any other thing apart from you in the mighty name of Jesus. They will find you. Yes, they will find you. It is only you, O oh God, that their focus will be on to in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we bless you, O oh God. We are grateful, O oh God. We worship you. We exalt you, O oh God, because we know that our husbands, O oh God, will be joyful. They will be joyful, O oh God. They will remain joyful. They will remain joyful. Whatever it is, trial they are passing through, they will count it all joy. They will not be irritable, O oh God. They will not be be angry unnecessarily because of whatever it is they are going through. Their focus will be on you. Our husband's focus will be on you. Our husband will hold on to you. Their trust will be on you. And I let's begin to pray. I just let's begin to pray for our husband. I don't know whatever it is, that situation that they might be going through. Let's begin to speak to that situation. Whatever situation that they are going through presently, that is weighing them down, that want to steal their joy. Ah, the devil will not steal the joy of our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil will not steal their joy in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray concerning that situation. The Bible says, ask whatever it is that we ask in his name that he will do it. And with him, all things are possible. So what is that situation? What is that situation that is before your husband? Begin to bring it, oh God, before God tonight. Bring it before God tonight. Bring that situation before God tonight. He is the almighty. He is the king of kings. He is the sovereign God. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh. He is the error. He is the God who sees ahead. Father, Lord God, we bring those situations before you. We bring it before you 
you, whatever it is, it might be loss of job, loss of contract, whatever it is, illness, whatever it is, oh God. Father, Lord God, we speak your peace into that situation. We speak your peace into that situation. Tonight, oh God, we stand on the authority of your word, and we decree tonight, oh God, we speak peace consigning that situation. We pray that our husband will enjoy your rest. They will have rest, oh God. They will have rest, oh God. Nothing will steal their joy. Nothing will steal their joy. Nothing, no situation, nothing, oh God, will steal their joy. Yes, oh God, nothing will steal their joy. Whatever it is, is it issue in their, in their uh, workplace, oh God. Father, Lord God, I pray, begin to attend to it. Nothing will steal their joy. Nothing will steal their joy. Yes, oh God, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We worship you. We exalt you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, because we know that you have heard us. We give you glory. We worship you. We exalt you. We bless you. We adore you. We give you all the praises. We give you all the adoration. Father, Lord God, we pray, oh God, that our joy, our husband's joy will continually be full. Yes, their joy will continually be full. We decree we and declare tonight that their joy will continually be full. Their joy will be full. Their joy is full in the name of Jesus. Their joy is full in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, almighty way maker, miracle Walker, thank you, thank you, because you are the giver of joy. You are the giver of joy, oh Lord. Thank you, because our husband's joy will always be full. It will continually be full in the mighty name of Jesus. It will continually be full in the name of Jesus, even in the face of trial, even when things are not going as planned. Ah, Father, Lord God, our husband's emotion, we commit them into your hands, oh God, that they will not take out whatever it is they are going through. They will not take it out on, on us as their wives. They will not take it out on the children. They will not take it out on anyone around them, but rather, oh God, they will share the joy of knowing Christ. They will share the joy of knowing you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord, for answers to prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. We worship you, O Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our husband's joy will continually be full in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's not stop praying. Let's not stop praying for our husband. Let's keep continue to uphold them in prayer. That thing that is not giving them rest, God will attend to it. God is already doing it. God is already attending to those issues. Our husband's joy will not be stolen in the mighty name of Jesus. They will remain joyful all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining tonight. Yes, today is day 25. We have five, is it five now? Maybe let's say, I think we should have four more days to go. So let's just, let's not be tired. Let's not be weary. Let's not relent. Let's continue to pray for our husband. So this last, you know, they said, um, um, I know that um, there's this saying that is the bottom of the pot that is usually very, sweeter so please this last four days let's go let's come out in full force let's if we have friends if we know anyone that have been joining for from day one but they are not here presently let's invite them in this last four days and we pray that god will hear our prayer um we have the link in the comment section to join the to register for the prayers um series and also to join the support group on whatsapp and the master classes. The master classes have been all awesome. They are classes that keep you at the edge of your seat. They've been awesome. They've been mind blowing as in God has been doing wonderful things. Um, things through the master classes. So we'd love to see you there. So join us. The links, all the links that you need are in the comment section. So thank you everyone for joining. See you tomorrow. Thank you. God bless you and keep you 
in Jesus' name. Amen.